In this lecture, we're going to be taking a look at if statements. Now, if you've programmed before, this lecture is probably something you can skip, but maybe you're curious just to hear what I have to say about if statements in Construct 2. If you haven't already noticed, we've been doing if statements this entire time. And that's kind of the beauty of Construct 2 because it bundles it together so well with its visual editor. And I think that's Construct 2's big advantage. So really what an if statement is in any other language besides a visual scripting editor, uh, if I make a comment here by pressing Q on the keyboard with an event selected, I can bring up the comments. I'm going to say an if statement would look like this and say if uh, parenthesis condition is met, then open bracket, do this action and close the bracket. And that's pretty much how that works. It's very, very simple. And in our case, we're saying if the enemy, if the object enemy's health is less than or equal to zero, so if it's dead, then set the opacity to zero. So then fire off this action. So if this condition is met, then do this action. Very simple. A real life example of this, because we deal with if then logic every single day, you just may not know it. If you have enough money to buy, buy something, then go buy something. It's kind of that simple when you break it down that way, because that's what this logic really is. And of course, your games or any programming application that you're making is going to consist of pretty much all if statements. And then it's all about how you organize these if statements and use these to your advantage. Now, the reason why this goes into the intermediate section is because it can get to it can get a little bit more advanced when it comes to nesting things and doing everything else as we'll be going over. But really, I wanted to put this in here because I think a lot of people don't understand if statements when they're just starting out, when they are really just starting out, they've never programmed before. And that's my hope with this course if you have never programmed before, that now you kind of feel like, okay, I'm getting the hang of the basics. The basics were pretty easy. Now I'm going to the intermediate section here, and it's still kind of easy because that's what an if statement is. We, again, do this every single day. We always have conditions that need to be met to get a reward, to get something out of it. So really, then you can start to couple it together with more logic. So we can do something like this. We can copy and paste this, and now we have an and statement where we're saying if this is true, if this condition is met, and this condition is met, then we can fire off this action. If this condition is not met, then this action won't be fired off, or any of those actions that we have will not be fired off. And I think that the way Construct2 displays this, just like this, is extremely powerful if you're just starting out, or if you are used to typing out something like this. If this condition is met, and this condition is met, something like that. I mean, this is not what you would do in an actual language because you'd probably consolidate it a little bit better, but that's my point, meaning instead of typing it out and putting in your AND operator, whatever it is, Construct2 already does that. And then as we know, to make an OR statement, we just have to hit Y on the keyboard, and now we have it saying if this is met or this is met, then do this, which gives this event multiple uses, which is my favorite thing in the world because now we're consolidating our event number and we're consolidating just our code. So we're coding smarter, which is really cool. So that's pretty much all we have to say about if statements. They're very, very simple to understand, but they're very powerful and you definitely need to get ahead of this concept now if you haven't already. Hopefully you have by this lecture. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.